Now, in question number 69, male gametophyte in angiosperm produces. Yes, pollen grain represents male gametophyte in angiosperm. Initially, pollen grain contains single cell. Yes, it is single cell. Now, this pollen grain shows mitosis. After the mitosis, there is formation of two cells. One is larger in size. I am writing L for the larger one. This is known as vegetative cell or tube cell. The second one is smaller in size. This one is known as generative cell. Now the smaller size cell that is the generative cell it further undergoes mitosis. Yes, after mitosis there is formation of non-motile male gametes that is sperms. So we would say that in the case of the mature gametophyte, male gametophyte, there is presence of three cells. Yes, two are sperms and one is vegetative cell. Mature male gametophyte in angiosperms maximally contain three cells. So what would be the right option here? That is option number two. So this is the right answer. Now moving to the question number 70, coconut water from a tender coconut is, yes you know that in the case of the coconut, the part which is edible that is endosperm, yes, the edible part is endosperm, yes in the coconut there is presence of two types of the endosperm, the outer part of the endosperm is solid. This is cellular, right? The inner part of the endosperm is liquid and it is free nuclear, right? The thousands of the nuclei, they are present in this endosperm and this liquid endosperm is also known as coconut milk. So what is the right option here? The coconut water, the coconut milk that represents free nuclear endosperm. So the right option is option number 3. So now let's move on to the question number 71. Now in the question number 71, the species confined to a particular region and not found elsewhere is termed as. Now if we look at the first option rare species, now the rare species they are those which naturally have small population size. Now keystone species, now keystone species are those which play critical role in maintaining the community structure. Yes, in the keystone species, their number is less, their abundance is less, but they play a major role in maintaining the community structure. Now coming to the alien species, they are the foreign, they are exotic species. One example which we can cite here that is water hyacinth. Yes, from some different country, the water hyacinth, it was introduced in India. Now, endemic species, yes, the endemic species, they are the one which are present, which are confined to a particular region. So, the right option is option number four. So, let's move on to the question number 72. 